Hello, this is Chris Menard. Just a really short video. I'm going to compare my Dell laptop, the integrated camera that's in it, and the integrated sound during a Zoom meeting. It doesn't matter whether you're using Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, WebEx, I don't care. So I'm comparing the camera versus an external camera, and then I'm also going to compare the audio from my laptop versus using a headset. Anyway, let's get started. I'm going to go first to the integrated audio and integrated camera on my Dell laptop, which is actually more powerful than the desktop computer I use. Thank you. Enjoy. Okay, I'm on my Dell XPS 13 laptop. I'm using the integrated camera, and I'm also using the audio that comes on the laptop. Two things I recommend. You definitely positively don't use the audio that comes with the laptop. That usually causes a lot of echo in meetings or even feedback. Two, if possible, don't use the integrated camera in a laptop because as you can see, the angle isn't very good. And just to make sure this test is accurate, I'm gonna lose my virtual background. Just thought about that. None. So I'm testing this on the laptop, then I'll jump on my desktop and see how this looks with an external camera and headphones. But just to test the headphones on a laptop, let me plug them in. So something, you'll, something I'll teach you is how to swap audio sources. Okay, plug them in. Hit them on, it still should be using the sound from the laptop. So you just come in here and switch it right there. That one. That one. Hey, so it's Chris. I've swapped over to this headset and mic. In case you're wondering, I'm actually holding my laptop up, so it's not such a bad angle. Hopefully, though, you can tell a difference in the audio. And again, that is how you swap your audio sources right there. Uh, I'll cover this a second ago. If you have multiple cameras, there's my integrated camera on my Dell laptop right here. I'll show that on the next video though. Thanks. Hey, so now I'm over on my desktop and what's important here is I am running um, an external webcam that is sitting on top of my monitor, which is approximately eye level right now. Uh, so it's a much better, higher quality image, plus the key is it's eye level. Looks a lot better when you're doing a video conference. Back to the audio, I don't expect you to have this. So I do suggest either something like this, which was 27 bucks, just to show you that. There's what I purchased right there. That's this. And the other one that I have is a little higher end, around 80 or 90 bucks. So this one I can wear for a lot longer during the day than this one. But anyway, so I hope my point is if you can get an external headset for your conferences, whether there was Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, WebEx, I don't care, makes all the difference in the world, eliminates echo, much better quality. The second thing I recommend is when it comes to the video camera, the video camera on most laptops works, but is not the best quality. Get a Logitech C920 or C922. I use both of them. The C920 is usually $20 to $30 cheaper. That's what I'm using right now, the 920. There are other makers out there, but just get an external web camera. If your budget's tight and you have to get just one or the other, get the audio first or get the headset first. Some people wear their earbud headsets. That still beats, that's okay, that still beats for me using the audio and sound that comes on your laptop. If by chance, if you have an external web camera and you plug it up to your laptop because your laptop's got a camera and now you got an external you will come here 
and you will get to pick what camera to use in case you're wondering about that. I wanted to cover that. Anyway, I hope that hope helps. I hope you see the difference using an external web camera versus built in and also get a headset. Thank you. Keep the questions and comments coming. Feel free to sign up uh, to my YouTube channel. Have a great weekend.